Hey guys, Bishmi back at it again with another video. Bow, you know the vibes. And today we are back on another episode of Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke. Now, there is something I have to say. I have done some research. I've talked to Arts. I've talked to Bloud. Seems like Arts is actually using a mystery gift Pokemon that we received. Like how I got the shiny from Bug. So let's look at the other mystery gifts I was able to obtain. So we have Croconaw, Litten, Absol, and Igglybuff. These are all from the mystery gifts. They said I was able to pick them up because my team did get smoked. So in the case that for me not to lose the Nuzlocke, picked up a, a couple Pokemon and we're gonna see how these guys do. Uh, actually, I don't want him in the front. Let me put on a repel, right? Because I was training up. All of my Pokemon were level five when I got them. So I trained them up just a little bit. Croconaw was able to defeat the Pokemon in this cave. So I was chilling with that. So let's see, episode 21, let's go. Let's run up here. Last episode, we were following Mr. Abraham. And let's go. We're heading to the Zenith for the Zenith Cave, one of four Xeno gates of the region. The access is permit permitted to those who activated Luxflon's blessing. But let's not argue semantics. I'll explain everything later. The plan of Team Dimension is merely to the first domino. The whole planet is in extreme danger. But to fully comprehend these words of mine, it's necessary for you to learn about this ancient legend. All right, let's get it. Billion years ago, the universe was ruled by a majestic and powerful Pokemon, Vakum. Its size was comparable to a planet, its body burning like a star. Just like every creature, Vakum was torn deep down by diametrically opposed intentions. The light, symbol of peace and evolution, and the darkness, bearer of tower and annihilation. Despite its tremendous power, the primeval creature was subject to the arrow of time and therefore doomed to age and become weaker and weaker. Meanwhile, the dark energy within the creature, willing to leave that dying shell, started rebelling with the purpose of establishing its own separated identity. And thus, the darkness bust out of its prison, causing the death of the Pokemon itself. So the Pokemon died to the darkness. The large scale deflagration was triggered and unleashed life throughout our universe. Galaxies, stars, and planets were generated. The earth formed, ruled half by the light being Luxflon, who incar incarnated following the explosion, and half by the Dark Lord, Dragalisk. To maintain the balance between them, there were three elemental guardians, parts of Vakum, to the starter Pokemon, Shyleon, Trishout, and Shulong. So how does my starter Pokemon just so happen to have this power? That's what I want to know. So called because they were forerunners of life. And like, how did I just manage to get it? But Drasglis was convinced that life wasn't necessary and banished them from its territory. Therefore, they found refuge in Luxflon's domain. Thanks to them, the hemisphere under the rule of the light being grew prosperous and floor. On the other hand, the one under the Dark Lords rotted and remained at a primal and hospital stage. Whereupon the latter, envious of its brother's work, decided to make its move. It wanted to steal some of the energy Luxfon used to make Lu Earth flourish so rapidly. Thanks for the intervention of both Luxfon and the starter Pokemon, the attack turned into a defeat. However, Jackalix was able to take over a tiny amount of energy it used to create soldiers under its will, the X Pokemon. Along with its new army, the Dark One attempted another stampede, but it failed again. Then, according to legend, the light being horrid by this greed for power broke into its energy reserves to turn away indefinitely its evil twin. By doing so, Draculix was confined to another dimension, the Xenoverse. Under the Domain of Light, the Earth attained its fullest development. However, the Dark Lord never got over the defeat and tried several more times over the millennia to wreak, wreak havoc on its original planet by tearing fault lines in space-time. But if Team Dimension were here to break into the Xenoverse, darkness will fall on our lives. The rifts already located all over the region will give Draculix its chance of revenge. It could finally be able to take over everything that Luxfon has developed until now. But there's a way to avoid this threat. How do we do it? 
The starter Pokemon are the harmony that keeps this world alive, and you, Bishmi, bear one of them. You are expected one. You are the expected one whose duty is to prevent its destruction. The region. No, Earth needs you. What happened to my dad? How did I get this Pokemon? You are still missing something to do this though. What the hell am I missing, bro? I took you here to ensure you obtain a power that goes far beyond the one you currently possess. I'm talking about the Xenoversal Evolution. Oh, nah. And thanks to that, you will be able to unlock the full potential of your Pokemon. In order to be given this power, however, you have to cross the limits of man. Bishmi, you see that enormous cascade there? That's not water flowing, it's terrestrial energy. It's Luxflon itself trying to patch the rifts between this world and the other. Only those who possess the Earth Core can therefore walk on through the Xeno Gate behind it. But to do that, you must be filled with a certain amount of grudge. And that's why I don't know what you're going to face in there or even give you any help. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember, though, without good, there's no evil and vice versa. This is the key to harness blue energy. Enough with the lollygagging now. It's time to act. Come what may, always trust your ability and your Pokemons. Dwell in there and come back victorious with an incredible new power. Oh, light being to you is my prayer. Grant your apostle the chance to face this trial. Oh, nah. How he even knew what to say. Now go, Bishmi. Oh, we out. Hey, Yo, we kind of swag walking with it. Hey, Yo, what a waterfall look like that. A weird energy spreads through the cascade. The Xenogate sucks you towards it. Hold on. What are we doing in here? Are we in the Xenoverse with it? Oh, Mohahaha. Who the hell is that? Mohahaha. Finally, you can't even imagine how long I've been waiting for this moment. It could seem strange, but I don't need any introductions because I am you. Oh, yeah? And th that's it. I'm your altar, your nemesis, born and raised in this dark, gloomy world. I have no family, no friends, nothing like that. So how come it's only you here? Where's everybody else? I've watched you every single day of your life. Okay. You have all I ever wanted. I hate you with all my will. What the heck? But the time for self-pity is over. I'll finally have my revenge. By defeating you, I will take your place. Heh <laughs> You're scared, aren't you? During all these years, I've thrived on your grudge, growing stronger and stronger. You wouldn't be the one defeating Team Dimension, not even saving Dad or anyone else. I will do it. And so, I'll finally receive the glory I'll deserve. Come out, Shyleon. Oh, nah. It looks cool. See, Bishmi? This Shyleon is just like me. It grew up in this cold, primitive mood. Not like your stupid Pokemon. You better watch out. This place is gonna be your grave. So, like, if I go down, what happens to you? Or is this like us? Where there's, like, multiple copies. Shyleon is level 34, big bro. And why does it look different? I'm just Moonblast. Yeah, we did learn Moonblast at level 45. I... Yo! You really thought you were gonna do something and you over here getting an old code? Oh, another key thing. I decided to turn on the help experience share because I'm gonna need it if I need these guys to get where I need them to be. Oh my god. We got a Latin learning double kick. And, like, I wouldn't be able to use these guys anyways we got ugly buff going up and absol why why tell me bro oh okay hey we got an evolution and i did not name these pokemon they came like that in the mystery gift hey so i guess we could use free pokemon and we got a torah cat lc gray evolved into torah cat i I can't believe it. I lost. I really lost. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> How can you be so good? Why do you have everything while I have nothing? You got Shiley on. It's not your fault. I'm the reflection of your grudge, your negative ego. You should be afraid of me. It's not your fault. What? Why are you still standing there without finishing me? You keep saying with me, despite all this, this makes me, makes me happy. I thought you had a grudge. Yeah, because this is how my new life begins. From now on, I'll follow you like a shadow. And when your hatred will overwhelm you, I will come out and take it all, Bishmi. Mwahahaha. Um, hey, Bishmi, can you he hear me? 
You have to come back. The gate is closing. The altar turned into the essence of the Xenoverse. It's the Xenoverse core. Bishmi obtained Xenoverse core. Oh, nah. We got the other Patora earring. Put it in my key items. So I can put it on. The negative projection of your Pokemon turned into a ring. It's a Xenoversal ring. Okay, okay. I like that. And now we out of here. So he was just yelling into the thing. Oh, I could control myself. I see you managed to get the Xenoverse core. Why don't you try the new power right now, Bishmi? Go on, give the ring to your starter Pokemon. All right. I don't give. We gonna give him the new ring. Xenoversal evolution. Oh, nah. Yo, why he look like that? All right. Let's see how you looking. Look, your Pokemon has changed form. Oh my God, he's like a a, a snake. I don't know why I couldn't find the words for that. So this is the essence of the Xenoverse core. Your Pokemon has a whole different look, more savage and more animal, just like the Xenoverse, which knows no development. Damn, Clef, why are you moving like that? Bravo, Bishmi, you've been able to brittle your hatred and become stronger. Go on, take your Pokemon. We're going back to Fort Belt now. I right, pull up. What the heck is happening? Uh, what what is happening, bro? Relax. It doesn't seem to be able to control the blue energy. Bishmi, take your Pokemon back to its basic form. Yo, Clef, Clef, where do you go? <laughs> what the heck? This situation is critical. Uh, did you not see where it went? <laughs> what the heck? Your Pokemon has run away, but it couldn't have gone far. I'm sure it's still wandering around the volcano. There's no time to waste. I'm going to the top. Okay, Clef, relax, bro. Relax. It's not that serious. I was just trying to talk to you. Man, it's kids, man. All right. And now I believe we have to battle him. He's going to be level four. And he's going to be a boss Pokemon. So I'm going to actually need to train up because my Pokemon are not strong enough. I didn't think I was going to get this far, actually. So, all right. After countless hours of farming let's do this because i know my starter goes crazy alexa stop what the heck fish me this way scaleon has been right on its tail your pokemon can't escape now but now it's your duty to appease its rage you're the only one who can do it fish me tried to calm shyly on down someone's in trouble here huh i definitely say so ganga ha ha an ex Pokemon. It looks like I'm famous around among Foig Foges too, but it's I'm not here for my admirers, Ganga haha. -ha. I've got a bone to pick with this brat right here. Shalion is a valid member of the Xenoverse army now, and through it I'll get my revenge. They say it's sweetest when it's served up cold, but who cares? Take him down. The situation is worth than expected. Scaleon, go over there and help Bishmi. Alright. Now, I know that this thing is a menace. Let's hope we got this. The boss Pokemon wants to battle. Let's go. So we are level 36. And we should be able to just fire blast. Unless I miss, of course. Well, that does a big chunk, actually. Oh my god, why did I miss that? Extra Century doesn't work. Yes, sir. We had to evolve our Tour Cat. Okay, that does a good amount. Fire Blast, Feral Clutch. That didn't do too much, but I'm going to heal here in case he uses Moonblast. Yeah, because and plus I'm getting like hit residually. It's Hyper Potion. Let's see what he uses. Giga Drain again. Going to heal back a little bit. Dang, my special defense is like kind of low. I'm going to just keep healing until the, the Feral Clutch is over. Let's see. Feral Clutch again. Actually, I should be able to attack him now. Hopefully, I don't miss. Come on, don't miss. All right. Yo, I need like two more of those, bro. I'm running low on PP, man. Giga Drain. Yo, don't miss. Don't miss. Please don't miss. Hey, we hit all the Fire Blasts. Well, we missed one. Now he's at half. I'm not taking residual damage. Let's heal one more time. 
Let's see. He used Feral Clutch. Oh my god, he crit me. Why? Why did he have to crit me? I could have I could have ate that if he didn't crit me. Let's see, because that's not doing that much. Yeah, look at that. Alright. Let's hit him with a fire fang. Let's see how much damage that's doing. Oh, that actually killed. Nice. So our cleft is done. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 and again, no. How come you always come out right? Shalion, destroy this nobody in the name of our lord. Clef not working with you, bro. Yeah. How dare you turn your back to me and join those miserable beings. We're superior. He's too strong for me right now. I wouldn't get out of it easily. Bah, whatever. These fools will deal with the master, and then it will be the end for them. And you, little brat, just know that someday I'll get my revenge with my own hands. But until that day comes, adieu. Ganga, haha. Bish me. Try to appease your Pokemon's mind now. Okay. Are you good? The battle made Shyleon realize the real value of your friendship. It looks like it can control the blue energy now. Fortunately, everything turned out well in the end. Friendship between fellow adventurers overwhelms every spell. Am I right, Scaleon? Now that you have now you have that power in your hands, try to limit the excess. As you have seen, it is a power which has its foundation in hatred, so when mishandled, it could lead to severe consequences. I urge you to use it well. It has been a real pleasure knowing you, Bishmi. It's been years since I last had the chance to meet a valiant trainer like you. With that power, you will finally level the playing field with Victor and his team Dimension. Just remember that the almighty Luxfawn watches over our, your path and protects you. Oh. Ah, I almost forgot. Now that you've resolved this issue, I'm sure that Nuffer is ready to challenge you in her gym. But watch out, she could not be as large and muscular as her granddad, but she doesn't mess around. I want you to take this little present from me too. Icarium H? What'd that do? It's a mineral move of Incurium H. Using that contraption created by Aster, you can invoke my Scalion to plow through the skies above Eldu and go back to places you've already visited. Why don't you give it a try and fly back to Ishtar? Promise me you will stand your ground with my niece, okay? Wait, is that her granddad or her niece? Her niece? Or her uncle? I'm confused, but on that note, I will be ending the episode here. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And tell me what you think about me using the Mystery Gift Pokemon. Hey, it might be a cheat, but you got to do what you got to do. All free Pokemon are available. And I was kind of down bad. So to continue the series, I did what I had to. All right, guys. Peace.